Can't see, the, can't see a road on it. I think we're there. So it is surprising. It looks like we have got to go a fair bit, a bit further, doesn't mm. it? This is the grey white, you reckon? There's Mackenden, you see. Mackenden's on the grey white. Yeah. Should we go there? Go to Mackenden, yeah. Okay. Agglomerate. You reckon? So do you want a lump? It'd be quite interesting. I mean, just... Let's have a look down there. Yeah. It could be ignorant bright, actually. Yeah. There we go, that's good. We think it's volcanic ash consolidated. I'll go and get a camera. Right. I just want a picture of that. This is the rock that we found on at that little crag. So it's um, that ash from the original volcanic explosion. So I'm going to feed it through here and eventually cut it down into um, a small block that'll then stick onto a glass slide. Yeah, you can see how brittle it is. Quite tricky to shape. There we go, that'll do that. Sometimes you can do loads and they just all crack up, you know, it really is pain. Uh, this is a lap wheel from America, because you can't, yeah, they're really hard to get actually, or at least they were when I was looking for one. These are diamond discs on steel plates. So they've got different grades. So you go from rough to smooth, as you'd expect. And I'm gonna put the rock on there and just flatten it off. So you can actually see now the little bits of ash that have made up the rock. So I'm gonna change it now from this fairly coarse wheel to a finer one. Get rid of any scratches. You know, if there's a rock which kind of looks good, a piece that looks good compared to a piece that's a little bit drab, I'll go with a piece that looks good and interesting, you know. Because they are, I mean, they like little artworks at that stage. Um, I mean, every, every bit, it's got an aesthetic angle to it, which is this idea about science and art. So there's the slide. That one's slightly frosted. The rock has got to sit perfectly on that. Clean it, make it nice and clean with some isopropyl alcohol get any grease off it this is um, UV glue which is liquid until you shine a UV light on it and then it goes solid so you kind of flood that on and in the some rocks you get lots of little pores little vesicles where gas has been while the rock was hot and so it leaves little bubbles in the rock so you need this to kind of flood in and go in there and this piece has got a little crack in it so I want it to kind of go in the crack a bit and support it because after I've after it's stuck to the glass I've got to thin it again but this time get it down to about a millimetre thick got a nice gloss on it can you see and then 
I'll drop the glass onto it and just sort of ease it down so that you don't trap air bubbles. And any bubbles you've got, just force them to the side out of the way. Then I'll shine a UV light on it and that's going to start to cure it, start to make it hard so I can move it. I'm going to put it into this homemade UV light box which has got a stronger light than that one. I've made this little block and the slide fits in there and then that's just going to leave enough showing to leave about a well less than a milli, milli, millimeter of rock left on the slide and then after that we'll kind of thin it down till it's less than a hair's breadth yeah that's going to be fine it's going to work what we want to do is shine light through it on the microscope um, and you can look down and you can see that all the minerals inside but you shine light against that and it just wouldn't go through it's too thick so back to the lap wheel and start thinning it down and then we'll finish off doing it by hand I wouldn't classify it as being creative but you're making and there's not much difference I don't think between making and creating um, so I'm making this thin section and I could do it poorly or I could do it well so there's quality involved so if you're making and you're thinking about quality then um, yeah it's engaging anyway and it's exciting too because it's at this stage I'm going to put it under the microscope next and it's at that stage you discover really what you've got. That's probably enough on the lap wheel because it takes it off fairly rapidly. And I can just see it going, you know, very thin on the edge there. Um, so I'm going to do the rest by hand. Yeah, we've got it as thin as we want it. And so now just the finishing bit, I'll give it a little bit of polish. Get any tiny scratches out of it. Um, using a really fine wet and dry paper. Oh, it's a bit tricky. There we go, that'll do.